One of the best things about being part of the FGC and the fight stick scene in general is that there are so many cool fight stick projects being showcased all the time. Whenever I think I've seen it all, there's always something new and innovative that surprises me. Like most of the fight stick community, Ginger Filth is passionate about his sticks and about helping out the community, so he sent me a special package all the way from Kong Island. After I got it inside, I began unboxing. As you already saw from the thumbnail, this is an interesting bongo fight stick build by Redditor Ginger Filth. I reached out to him to see how deep his love of all things Donkey Kong goes and to crack the mystery as to why someone would retool an old GameCube peripheral into a playable fight stick. After getting it unwrapped, I was initially surprised at the size of the bongos. My dusty memory of the GameCube bongo drums was that they were slightly bigger, but I dug an old set out of the closet and sure enough. This puts this unit on the smaller end of most fight stick builds, but that's okay. What she lacks in width, she makes up for in hype. Clearly, Ginger Filth put a lot of care into this build and has definitely refined his process. He's built six of these things previously, with most going to different people in the fight stick community to help test and create different parts. Previous iterations contain T-spins and Odin V2s for all button variants. Check out the Omni Arcade Boys for more info on those products, but this is his first one that's exclusively stick based and he didn't skimp on the quality. This current build houses six 24mm Sun Mulan buttons, a Brook PS4 board under the hood, a Sanwa JLF with link shaft, and even one of those fun Murakumo Arts dust washers. He's also changed the aesthetic from some of his previous versions with a custom paint job to tie in the red and black from his part selections. But I ask myself, what character would actually benefit from a peripheral like this? Is there someone in a particular game I could use to capitalize on the gorilla smashing elements of this sort of controller? Is there some sort of button mashing archetype that would kick my unga levels up to an 11 out of a possible 5? Is there some sort of slap happy, turpentine swilling, shut off my brain, plus frame, it's always my turn degenerate that I could use to really make this thing work? Is there... So I hopped on and played a few matches to see how this thing really felt in actual sets. It rides a bit higher than most sticks, but I acclimated quickly and it wasn't long before I embraced my inner primate and started to really ride these waves of unga. A glorious calm fell over me. My mind became emptied of all thought and concern, like an unconditionable Ken player DPing four consecutive times on wake up. I was transcending all footsies framed in and fundamentals. I didn't always win, but it didn't always matter. Sometimes the journey is more important than the destination, and this stick was a lot of fun in achieving just that. Really cool and inspiring build. Huge shout outs to the original bongo stick maker and self-described lanky Kong type of guy, Ginger Filth. Thanks for letting me take a closer look at your creation, and you, viewer, if you are watching at home and decide you need a set of DK bongos to take to your locals to help you open your third eye of unga, then you know who to commission for a build or to who to ask for help in the process of making your own. Here is his point of contact, as well as his plugs. Thanks for watching. Support your locals, and I'll see you next time.